Assets in MA are arranged in an intuitive visual hierarchy that mimics real life. You can start at the very top with the parent facility, refine down into different rooms or departments, and go right down into systems, equipment, and their subcomponents. You can make the hierarchy as detailed or as simple as you want. To demonstrate how the hierarchy works, I'm going to build one quickly with just a few levels. I click the Assets menu on the left. Because this is a blank database, I get this intro screen. I'll create the first asset, which will be my main facility. There are two options for how I want to locate this facility in my asset hierarchy. I can make it part of an existing location, or I can make it a top level facility. Because this is the first asset, I don't have much choice, and I'll select the latter. That's all the detail I need for now. When I go back to my asset page, I now have one facility there. I'll add another level by clicking New and selecting Facility. This one will be a room in my main facility. This time, I'll select This Facility is Part of and place it under my main facility. My next asset will be a piece of equipment belonging to that room. After filling in a few details, I'll choose This Equipment is Located At because I'm making it a child asset to a location. I'll search for and select Room 101. My last asset will be a subcomponent of the CNC. To indicate this relationship, I'll select this equipment is part of, which allows me to select a piece of equipment as the parent. In this case, I'll choose the CNC machine. When I expand out the asset hierarchy, you can see the four levels I created. There's no limitation on the number of levels or their arrangement.